Liv, did you get a chance to meet Lita? And is Lita one of your favorites? Yeah, she is my absolute favorite. So the first time I met her, um, it was WrestleMania about three years ago. And I'm in catering, and I had a big plate of dessert. And a big, big plate of dessert. And I'm so yucky. And I saw her out the corner of my eye, and I stopped at my chest. I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, it hurt. I took, I took a couple steps back, and I just reached out my hand with my plate of dessert. And I was like, hi, Liam. It was so nice to meet you. She introduced herself, and that's, that's all it was. But um, it was like changing That's all I could think about for the whole weekend during the show. I was, was like, oh, my God, I met Lita. I um, loved Lita growing up. She was just that tomboy, like, book sticker that I wanted to be. I really related to her. So it was great to meet her. And she actually spent a couple of weeks at the Performance Center helping train us. And so that was amazing as well. I got to do a moonfall for her. <laughs> <laughs> Liv, what would what does NXT Brooklyn mean to you? That's a big event that's coming up and all. So, being that you're from up in that area, what does that mean for you? Oh, I I would love more than anything to be a part of NXT Brooklyn takeover. Um, it's been there for the past three years, and it's it's a, it's a great crowd. You know, like aside from just Brooklyn being a great crowd, there's nothing better than you know feeling like. It's your hometown crowd, so I'm excited for SummerSlam and NXT TakeOver Brooklyn this year, and I'm just excited to just watch everything, watch how it unfolds. Hopefully, I can take part in it, but um, I'll keep my fingers crossed. I'm not so sure yet, but it's, it's, just, it's just like a kind of a magical feeling in the air. It's just Jersey goes hard, New York goes hard, Tri-State area is hard, so it's, it's just very fun. All right, a couple more questions. We'll wrap this up. And thank you again, Liv. Where do you get your hats, your ring gear? Do you have a favorite hat? Um, a favorite hat? Um, probably my first hat. My first hat. You only live once, which is a quote that I definitely live by. Um, it was just my first hat that I made. And it's just, it's just special to me. I, I would never get rid of it. Um, my my ring gear kind of is inspired by my shoe collection, so I just like Jordans, and I have a very expensive collection. So I'll see a style that I just like wearing the ring, and then I base my outfit color scheme and my hat color scheme off of the shoe. So it all just kind of ties together. And on the Twitter page, I noticed there's a cartoon drawing of yourself, correct, in the upper left-hand corner? Yes. So where did that, is that something you did, it's someone else did? Who did the drawing? It's really cool. It was a fan, a fan that I, um, just, just a fan that actually just kind of tagged me in the photo, and I thought it was, it was very cool. So I made that my profile photo, and it's been my Instagram and my Twitter profile photo for about two years, because I thought I just, I just loved it, I don't know. I thought it was a cool representation of myself, and I thought it was cool that fan kind of understood what I was trying to go for within the painting. I just, I love it, and I'll probably never change it. Yeah, your fans are incredible. The WWE Universe is just, uh, it's incredible. And with that on your Twitter, you have a saying that says, say no to drugs and yes to pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, an, that's another um, quote that I choose to live. I love pizza, um, especially, you know, coming from New Jersey, New York area. Pizza is very popular. It's probably the best pizza in the entire world. I miss it. So uh, that was just kind of something of a message that I just thought was just a cool way of getting a good point across, you know, like kids, you know, drugs, and just, just say yes to pizza, you know. It was just a way to get a message across and kind of just a fun, loving, live way. With that, with the pizza, so... For those in the New York, New Jersey area, where does Liv Morgan go when she's home up there for pizza? Ooh, I go to Santoni's Pizza in Gosford, New Jersey. It's just a little pizza spot, but it has incredible pizza, and I will go there every single time that I'm home. Have you found any pizza places in Orlando? Yeah, yeah, I have. Uh, there's a place called Anthony's Pizza it's in Thorn Park. Um, probably my go-to pizza place in Florida. That's the only place I actually go to for pizza. It's very good. It's, it's, I mean, it's not, not pizza from home, but it's, it's very good pizza. 
So what do we do? We do thin crust. Do we do a sigillion? Do we do a do we do a deep dish? What do we What do we do? What do we have? Do we have anything on the pizza? Okay, I, I, oh, it depends what kind of mood I'm in. So I, I traditionally like to go for dinner, but plain pepperoni pizza. Sometimes I like extra cheese. Sometimes I like pineapple. Sometimes I go to everything pizza. But I like. I find the favorite is definitely be just the traditional nice pepperoni pizza, greasy, cheesy, meaty, perfect. And with that, you have not found any pizza places then in Fort Pierce. Where NXT will be? Yeah, so we're going to be in Fort Pierce. Yeah, actually, I haven't tried. We have, maybe I will actually look for one in Fort Pierce. But yeah, we're going to be in Fort Pierce this weekend. Um, we, we all love traveling to Fort Pierce. It's a great crowd. It has, always has high energy. And, you know, tickets are available at NXTTickets.com or at the door. It starts at $10 ticket. It's just... It's an exciting, it's an exciting crowd, it's an exciting show. We love travel there. That's amazing because, right, you could spend $10 and you get to meet some superstars before the show and you get to see a great show and it's just a, it's just a great experience. What a fun experience. Well, and what is the experience like? I know you mentioned Fort Pierce, but what is that experience like when you come out there? You've been a cheerleader, so you've been in front of crowds, competitive competitions, but what is that like coming out there when all these fans are just throwing all these things at you, saying things and doing that? It's definitely different. So I'm not used to being a center of attention ever in life. You know, I was in a cheerleading squad. I have so many brothers and sisters, so... When I make my entrance and all the attention is specifically on me, it's a feeling that I can't quite describe. Like, you hear it a lot. Like, you know, you get you get nervous backstage. You know, the jitters, you know, the butterflies. But as soon as you walk through the curtains, it's like, you know, this is where I belong. This is home. I love the energy the crowd gives me. It's, it's just it's great vibes. It's so friendly oriented. And there's just so many things that the show offers, whether it's, you know, the live music, favorite stars, the entertainment. It's, it's fun for everyone, and I love more than anything to entertain our fans and put on a good show. Your social media for fans, what do you have out there? Twitter and Instagram, at you only live once. What else did you think it would have been? That I would, you know, I would think of maybe live in La Vida Loca. Live dangerously, live and let live. Live and let live. Living on a prayer, you a Bon Jovi fan, living on a prayer? He's a he's a northeastern guy. Oof. I should have contacted you more often. You <laughs> some together. I love that was the that was the most fun about the research is just living looking all the live up. <laughs> it's fun, yeah, I do it all day. <laughs> all right, Liv, thank you again. Thanks for your time. We'll see you in Fort Pierce.